In this tutorial I want to show you some of the special features of Infinite uh, which I don't think you find in other uh, plugins. So um, I will cover the, the envelopes and the stuff about that. I start with a very basic preset from the tutorials bank, Sawtooth. And um, it just plays the resource from the beginning to the end. Um, it is this resource. Here you see the spectra. This is the first time frame. And here is the, the end of the sound. So I have switched trays on and now if I play you see the cursor moving through the resource. So at the beginning of the sound you have this. Um, now I can change the envelope which controls this, which is the time envelope here. So if I would put this uh, sus sustain level up, then it always stays on the first uh, spectrum. So, okay, you see now it is staying fixed here, which is a normal sawtooth. Now, what we also hear is that the filter is involved a bit, the, the VCF. Um, okay, I turn the cutoff up all the way and take the em emphasis down, so. so the filter just bypasses the whole signal. Okay. Now um, um, let's go to this famous electric piano sound, which has this this uh, characteristics. And again, I set the envelope level sustain down so it moves through the whole resource. Okay, we can see it. And you see if you select a single overtones, maybe like this, you see here the gain. And you, we have a decay time, which is like this. So if I turn this full up, then we have a then it decays, uh, not at all, it stays. So you see everything decays, but only this, hum this harmonic stays on its level. So the thing is that every overtone has its own value here. You see they're all slightly different. Okay. Now the nice thing here is um, that um, okay, what we see here is uh, is the original sound from which this resource was recorded, and after after this few I don't know what it is one and a half seconds or what it is or two seconds, the sound was was so low. That in the high overtones you you have only a, a noise floor. But now with this uh, synthesizer, I can prolong the whole sound uh, with a time envelope. So let's go back to the envelope. Okay, you, you know this already when you shorten the sound like this and you make it longer. But it always on, uh, it can, can it can only run down to this level, not below it. It's just because the sound uh, is only has only this length. Okay. Now we have a special thing here, which is this time switch on off. If I set this to on, then the envelope uh, keeps on running below this level. You don't see it; it's, you know, the point stops here. But the sound decays further, further, further beyond the sound of the original recording. <laughs>
Um, and this is possible because of, of, of these decay times. You see, the, the sound keeps on running with these internal decay times here. So each overtone has its, uh, its characteristic decay and, and even uh, um, be beyond the recording we did of the original sound, uh, the synthesizer keeps, uh, goes on with this decay until everything is totally decaying to, to zero. So this is a very powerful thing for sounds which, which are analyzed correctly. We also can do it, let's say, with a, with a bell, which is also analyzed. And the bell also has some modulations here. For example, this, this overtone has a modulation, you see. Okay, now we have a distortion because the filter, the VCF, has a, a, a saturation where we go into now. So I take the complete gain down a bit. But you hear nicely these modulations. Here's the frequency. And even these modulations go beyond the end of the analyzed sound if you have uh, turned it on. You know, if the envelope here is set on. Now I set it off. It stops and now it continues. Okay. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show about this feature. Now I want to show you another very powerful feature in the envelopes of uh, Infinite. Um, and I, uh, again I start with this sawtooth sound here. And um, let's go to the time envelope. And as you may I know already, I think, uh, you, you set the speed here with the decay time. Okay, then we also have this loop feature, which uh, makes the envelope repeat a part of the material at the end, of where, wherever you want. Okay, the, the, the speed of this loop always is uh, given by the decay time here, so you see it works like this. Also the curve can be changed like this. And, um, okay, this is the, the width of the loop. And we have this uh, third value for the loop, which uh, adds a random time to the to each period of the loop. So if I turn this up, you see this this whole thing starts to to shake a bit here. But this is not a bug, as some people think. <laughs> this is just exactly what the engine does. I mean, if I play a sound now. Then each time, each period of the loop is changed a little bit, which makes it more natural, especially for string sounds or things like that. Okay, but now the other interesting feature here is that we have uh, this key balance, which means um, if you switch this on, okay, you see now you have this little uh, thing here. Now you have uh, these parameters set two times. You have a low set for a low key. Okay. And you have another set 
high note for the high notes. So I can let's say I can change anything. I can uh, add a attack time here at the high notes. And the low is still percussive. There's, a, there's also a special trace mode where you can see what happens. So now I have a very low key on my MIDI keyboard. It is a G or even this, this one, C2 or what it is. C1, I think. And now for each higher key, it moves into the other envelope set of the high. Uh, note. Okay. Yeah, I think you got the idea behind this. And I think that's all for now. Bye.